What's going on, you guys? Hope you guys have been uh, doing good. Um, we're almost, uh, well, we're into March, getting closer to uh, April. This month has been flying by, so I apologize that I've not been able to upload, but um, just been staying busy. So anyway, um, something a little bit different today. I'll tell you guys real quick um, what gear I'm gonna be using. Um, we got um, Colonia um, SV. Um, this is kind of scented like Aqua de Parma Colonia. Um, I put uh, Kokum butter on the um, shave puck. So got the bloom water right here. We'll go back to that. Um, I got to load up my brush. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a head shave today, so I'll take off this beanie cap in a moment and we'll talk a little bit about the brushes that I primarily was using years and years ago for head shaving today I'm going to be using my shave revolution um, high mountain white um, three band silver tip this is a 24 millimeter um, brush um, here I can just show you guys real quick this was probably one of my favorite brushes to use for head shaving. This is the Vylong um, Lord Randall um, three band silver tip um, that was made uh, by Vylong for Bull Goose. This is a really good um, face lathering brush, but also um, head lathering. It's got a very good amount of backbone and um, just lathers really well on the head. This is my bigger brush, the Aka Kappa um, 1869. Um, this is, I think, a 25 millimeter um, knot inside. It ends up kind of being closer to like a 27, 28 here at the diameter. This is a really nice one. Um, since this is my first head shave in a long time, this is like my best lathering brush. So we'll, uh, we'll go with this. I'm going to be using the carbon um, with a Kai blade on its third use with the minus base plate. Um, I've got the other two base plates um, in case I want to use those. So a couple notes on head shaving. Um, if I could have found it, I probably would have just used the Gillette Guard. Um, Gillette Guard is kind of like a, um, it's got like an open comb, kind of like tooth or rake to it with a single blade and then um, I think those are made in India. I always found those to be the easiest thing for me to head shave with and um, I always enjoyed the results that I got with those. Um, the other razors that I did use um, a little bit with head shaving, the BBS-1 actually did pretty decent but um, I didn't like using the BBS one quite as much as just using the Gillette Guard. Um, the R41 was also a good razor. I'm just going to load up just a little bit more. Um, I'm trying to remember if like I used the Razor Rock Stealth Slant for um, any of my head shaves. Yeah, I've just been getting shaves in with the carbon. Sold off the stainless steel Razor Rock Lupo. Um, I'm sure within the next month or two, I'll probably get around to getting the other two carbon base plates in titanium. I want to get the uh, minus base plate in titanium and then the plus plate in titanium. So just a little bit of pressure. It's 
So I think the last time I got a head shave in was like maybe two, two and a half years ago. Okay, let's go for some of the water, bloom water. Um, in my experience, I, I always liked a uh, lather that was going to be a little bit more on the dense and the thick side. So the shave soaps, um, just to name a few that I liked head shaving with um, in the past were um, Mike's Natural Soaps, um, Bear Stern Man, White Label. Like when, when I was shaving my head for the first time, that might have been like... three, four years ago. Um, I was I was bald for quite a little bit because I've had long hair, so like today just getting this cut, it's not that big of a deal. I think it's just a little bit surprising for most people. I have to convince everybody when I say yeah, I'm gonna cut it all off and shave it. They, everyone thinks I'm joking or that I'm really not gonna be Truly bald, well, yep. <laughs> um, so the SV soaps that I've, I found um, back in the day that I was enjoying um, for head shaves would be um, the Flying Mango, uh, Cosmo, Mana DC Chilia, Those tend to be some of the more thirsty ones that have quite a bit of, um, and I don't know, this will be a little bit weird, but just so you guys can see real quick. So, but anyway, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I've Obviously, uh, never shave with a carbon on the head, but um, I do still have my Razor Rock Lupo in aluminum, and I would assume that that would be a pretty good head shaver. I think we're good to go. Um, I always did find that I liked going against the grain. Or, you know what? Actually, I don't know why I said that, because I think usually I would find a two pass um, work pretty good. So this is again the minus base plate. did film a video a couple weeks ago and um, it's a little it's funny how after not shaving on video for a while it's kind of like I'm not really sure what to talk about but I think I've just been so busy that my mind hasn't really been quite as preoccupied with what's going on in The shave world or whatever. Um, found out last night the 10 year anniversary for the Mula R41 is finally going to have a release in stainless steel. I know I had mentioned that quite a while ago that as much as I love that razor the only caveat to it is that it was you know a cast razor. It was zinc and alloy coated. Or I forget what is what does Zamic stand for. Um, I may consider getting that razor, but honestly, it really wouldn't be for I don't really know how much I would shave with it. I, but I, I still really love that that razor. Or 41 was one I always really liked. Okay. Okay. 
here we go. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that everyone really loves the look of the he the shaved head, which I can understand. It's 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 just really not everybody's favorite look for different reasons. But right now, it's um, I'm just I was kind of getting tired of having the long hair, so I ended up saving it. We'll we'll donate it, and then. It's just gonna make make things a little bit easier. Now that I'm successfully daily shaving, um, I don't know how often I'm gonna be shave in my head. That's kind of the nice thing is with a bald head and then kind of as it grows in over a couple days you have kind of like that you know buzz look and it doesn't look too bad. Um, but having a shaved head it really does feel nice. Um, I'm sure that, it, that I'll let my hair grow out again sometime. I don't think that I'm going to be keeping it bald for a really extended period, but I really don't know. since I've done this. I'm to try to remember how to do this. Um, I guess to give you guys kind of like some some tips. So what I used to do is if I had you know, let's say like maybe like a week or two um, worth of beard growth, uh, beard growth on my head, um, growth. What I would uh, start by doing is buzzing it down if I wanted. Um, with the Gillette Guard, it it can it can remove quite a bit of hair. We're feeling pretty. This pass is a little harder to get everything, but um, I think what I'm gonna do is just switch out the handle for the razor rock, and then we'll just go against the grain. I always found that that was a little easier to kind of keep track of the, the rows or the lines, so to speak. Um, okay, this minus base plate I think is working pretty good. You guys wanna see this? get that off real quick. Oh. Um, so I would buzz um, my head with clippers to get as much of the, the long hair off and then whatever was remaining I would do um, there was I think it's Moroccan red clay red clay um, sometimes you'll see it, um, Razul or uh, with a G, um, Gazul. And, um, so again, same blade, same plate, just use this. Um, and then I would use that red clay to, um, like clean my head. 
can get all of the the dead skin off and the leftover shorter hairs. Um, and then the other thing that you can do is you can do that as a post shave. I might have mentioned that in one of my other videos that you can um, you can do like your post shave with a clay mask and you might have to look into or experiment I don't know if you guys want you can you can ask me but you know because I've been into ceramics um, there was one shop years ago when I kind of started getting into just all the different raw ingredients they sold a lot of different cosmetic clays from all around the world so I got quite a few from Australia a few different French clays um, a couple of the different um, Excuse me for a second. Um, I don't know that I need to get this much more, but I'll just get some water. Um, and then what happens is you just kind of do it for five to ten minutes. Um, you just mix up a slurry, water and in your clay, and then you... Uh, Leave it on your skin. And it, it should leave your skin if the clay that you use is appropriate for your skin type. Um, I think you'd be surprised how kind of buttery smooth it leaves your skin. Um, it, can, it can be uh, very calming. Um, So sometimes I would do a mixtures of clay and I haven't done this for a while. I'll probably try and get some if it's still available later this year. There's an essential oil company um, in Northern California called Floricopia. And um, it's, it's kind of an interesting company. They're, they're a little bit, um, They're, they're like a husband and wife team, plus a lot of other people. Um, and so like, for instance, I remember watching a video on them wild harvesting um, some juniper berries in uh, the Sierra Nevada mountains. And, um, you know, they kind of talked about how they made the essential oil as well as the hydrosols. And I was going to say the, um, oh, so they came out with a, um, a clay mask and it was like a tiny little jar was like 40 to 50 bucks. Um, but it had a lot of different kind of ingredients in it just besides clay. And, um, I would do that maybe like once a month, every couple months as the post shave. Um, and on my face, that, um, that clay treatment mask is, it's, it's very nice.
Okay. So. Okay, let me just get one little splash and it was funny because I did my face shave last night. I didn't, I was supposed to get my uh, haircut in like a day or two or something. So I didn't know I was going to get cut today. Um, but yeah, last night, just to give you guys an idea, I did the minus base plate first just with the grain. And then I used the plus plus base plate with, the, oh wait, no, no, no. That was two nights ago. So I apologize. I did the against the grain with the plus plus base plate and then a with the grain with the plus plus base plate. And that was just on one day's beard growth. That actually wasn't too bad. Um, I still think that sometimes using two different base plates um, in the same in the same shave seems, seems to work well for me. Um, I don't really know that, um, you know, I've really dialed in exactly what I think, this has got good, good slickness. Um, I don't have a mirror, but we'll have to see if I missed any spots once I, I wrap up here. But I'm gonna wipe this off. It's been a while. So the most common spots to kind of miss are right around the ears. So it's kind of hard to see on camera just because it's not as close. Mm. But yeah, I think, I guess to kind of go back to when I was mentioning the shave soaps that I like to use, the ones that really hold a lot of water and have that density, um, I think that head shaving, you maybe um, just take a little bit longer to get through the entire you know surface area. So the stuff that um, is last, as long as it hasn't dried out, that's really kind of the, the cool thing or the thing that you're you know hoping for as far as performance. Um, so like right now, I can't tell. How long it is? I guess I could try to. See. Yeah, I gotta get myself hooked up with another another mirror. But anyway, I'll throw on the splash, see how it feels. I think that maybe I didn't bring the splash, but um, yeah, the uh, the skin for me on the head tends to be a little bit easier to. It, it tends to be a little bit more resilient, whereas the skin on my face tends to be a little bit more sensitive. I will say that I still do get nicks um, on my head, but like I said, using a Gillette guard, I'm sure you guys will see me sometime soon use that instead of a DE. And I know it may not seem quite as satisfying for as, as much as I love DEs, the, the Gillette guard has just been really, really good um, in my experience. Now, the other thing is, oh, that, that's what I wanted to mention. I really have been enjoying using the, the gel tip um, badger um, for like my daily shaves, but I still think that using the like the PAA synthetic um, is easier to use than the Plasson synthetic. And the results that I'm getting with the, the lather are always going to be superior with the PAA versus the gel tip. Um, there's something about using even like the 24 millimeter brush that I have, um, you know, it's a manageable size, but I think that, um, I don't know what it is. So I've just come to realize that as much as I want to use Badger sometimes, if I don't have enough beard, it's really not worth kind of pushing for it. So, um, yeah, anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm sure I'm going to be getting to, you know, get some more shaves in and kind of finish more product. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I didn't, like I said, grab the aftershave, but um, minus base plate seems to be a good option. We'll see um, when I decide to try out the other base plates um, for a head shave. So hopefully I didn't miss too many spots on the back. But um, again, I hope you guys are doing well and 
Um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks or the next month, I have some more uploads for you guys. So um, take care and I'll catch you guys soon.